You know, this week's free indie rapid fire, there really is only one choice. If Sissy's Ponycorn Adventure does not sweep it with 100% of the votes, then every single one of you that voted for a different game is a terrible person. Terrible person. You are crushing the hopes and dreams of a five-year-old girl. You know, the shame is, the other two games are really, really good this week. Officer Alfred had a fan fantastic take on the time mechanic. Yeah, I know everybody's done the time mechanic, but I really liked how you would have to stop things and jump on them and stop explosions at just the right moment. It, it was a little bit weird. I don't know if real in real life, you know, light beams could be walked on. If that were the case, then when we stop time, we'd be unable to move because, oh, there's light all around us. What were we thinking? But, you know, that aside, maybe they're plasma beams. Isn't that what lightsabers are made out of? So if you stop time, you could stand on a lightsaber? That's pretty cool. And, oh, 14 locks. I, I have not marveled at the beauty of puzzles like this since I played Myst. I mean, there, the one, actually there were two rooms where you had to get at a certain angle to view something, and I saw it both times. And I, I, I was able to decipher it from a different angle, but I still had to stand there and look at it and go, wow, well done. Such a beautiful, and such a simple idea. It's really just a, he made a series of 3D rooms and a bunch of doors that you had to type in the numbers to. No replay value. No replay value whatsoever, but gorgeous and worth the playthrough just for the beauty of the darn thing. But Sissy's Ponycorn Adventure has to win because I can't not, I, I feel like these other two games need to be like recycled and, and put into next week's Free Andy Rapid Fire against a different game so that they can be judged fairly. To judge Ponycorn Adventures fairly, I'm going to tell you what my kids thought of it. I sat down and let them play it, and I was impressed how all the puzzles were right at their level. My son, he knew right what to do. He he saw the, the lines, and it was just on his level. My three-year-old girl needed my, my son's help, but uh, it's still, and, and they've played it over, and oh, here's what they had to say about it. What did you think of the pony corn? Did they were beautiful. What, a, what was your favorite part? Up the part where hey. the tiger turned good. What was your favorite part, Cassasia? That the unicorn. This being good. What did you guys think of the evil lemon? Oh, I thought it was so cool. Yeah. And what did you? How did you enjoy beating the evil lemon with the coconut? No, oh, that's so cool too. Did you like it? So Sissy's Ponycorn Adventure wins, but this is the last time that this gag will win for me. To all you child aspiring game developers out there, you, you gotta bring it next time. I, I'm not pulling any punches next time. Sissy's Ponycorn Adventure gotta buy, but you're gonna get the horns. So bring it.